Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to look at how to install Manifold System Release 9 and also how to install Manifold Viewer. The two installations are virtually identical, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the free Manifold Viewer as an example of uh, installation. And uh, we're looking at what we're looking at here is the uh, Manifold homepage. Uh, this big banner image changes every day, and the headline changes every time you, re you refresh the page. It's a typical headline, uh, faster is better, which is very true. Faster data science is indeed easier data science. Uh, both Manifold and uh, Manifold Viewer are very popular for GIS, for data science, and for ETL, the so-called extract, transform, load operations. And if we scroll down further in the uh, page, we'll see why. Because both uh, Viewer and Manifold, Viewer is, after all, just a read-only read version of Manifold System Release 9, they're both multi-core, they're both multi-CPU, and they're both multi-GPU. They always run automatically, fully parallel, using all the cores in your GPU. If you have a CPU, they use all the cores in your, in your GPU as well. And if you have multiple CPUs or multiple GPUs in your system, they'll use all the cores in all those as well. Uh, these pictures, by the way, here are, peop are manifold people, and every time you uh, refresh the page or uh, change it, those, those pictures will uh, change to see different people from the manifold community. All right, let's go up here to the top of the page where you'll see some links, one for the Release 9 page, and to release download Release 9, we'll go here to Product Downloads. Uh, or up here to, uh, we'll click on a Free Viewer uh, to go to the Manifold Viewer homepage. And there, there it is, Manifold Viewer. Connect to everything, see everything, and answer questions. Uh, yeah, that's definitely Viewer. And uh, Manifold makes it easy for you to uh, click. We just click the icon to download Viewer. So when you click that icon, that takes you to the Manifold Viewer homepage, uh, downloads page rather. And uh, here you'll see that there's a uh, two choices for types of installations for uh, Manifold Viewer. And you'll get the same two choices for uh, Manifold System Release 9. Uh, both come in either a classic uh, kind of Windows installer package, uh, where you, you know, use a Windows installer, as people have done since uh, time immemorial. And uh, to do that, to use that uh, installation pathway, you have to know whether you're running 32-bit Windows or 64-bit Windows. If you're running 32-bit Windows, just click right here on this link to uh, download the insta installation package for 32-bit Windows. And up here, if you're running 64-bit Windows, which you should be, after all, this is, uh, it's not uh, it's not the uh, Middle Ages anymore. Uh, click on this uh, button here to download the uh, Windows installer package for 64-bit uh, Windows. Uh, up here is the uh, so-called uh, Edge package. The Cutting Edge build is uh, what most Manifold people use. Uh, the Cutting Edge build is updated every two every two weeks or so, and uh, that has all the latest greatest features. It has all the latest greatest bug fixes. It has uh, and it corresponds most cl close to the documentation. The, the documentation uh, tries to keep up with the cutting edge build. The uh, Windows installer build, on the other hand, only gets updated about every three months. So that can fall considerably behind something which evolves as rapidly as Manifold System Release 9 or as Manifold Viewer. Every time Release 9 updates, Viewer also updates. Because Viewer, after all, really is just a read-only version of Release 9. It's compiled from the same source code. It's just a different c compilation pathway. So every time Release 9 comes out in a new build, Viewer comes out in a new build as well. Let's pretend that we download that we clicked here to uh, download the uh, uh, portable installation for Viewer, and let's also pretend that we clicked here to download the 64-bit uh, installation for uh, Windows installer version for, uh, for for Viewer. I'll show you how to use both of those. Now, what else might we might we want to install? Uh, if you haven't up, uh, installed any uh, uh, modern applications recently on your Windows 10 package, you might not have uh, the uh, so-called C++ redistributable. Uh, uh, DLLs updated on your Windows 10 uh, installation or your or your other Windows installations. Uh, Manifold likes to use uh, Windows Microsoft facilities wherever possible because th that tends to ensure uh, the best possible uh, uh, compatibility with uh, Windows changes, especially in, in systems like Windows 10, which update fairly frequently. Uh, and uh, using Visual C redistributables is part of that. Uh, if you need to update those, you can download them from here, from the Microsoft VC Downloads page, and install them. That takes just a second. They come in a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version. So whichever w version of Windows you're using, get that. Uh, actually, in 64-bit Windows, install both. On 32-bit Windows, just install the 32-bit version. Uh, one way of, uh, of not having to do that is to take the uh, Viewer official build, or the Release 9 official build, and to install that at least once, because what that will do is that will automatically update for you the uh, the uh, Visual C++ uh, DLLs, uh, redistributables, if, if those need to be done. Uh, you can do that just once and then forget about it and uninstall the Windows installation package and then go on to use uh, the uh, Viewer Edge, which is what most Manifold people do. 
All right, what else might we want to do? Localization files is covered in a different uh, topic. Uh, you can localize Manifold for many different languages. Uh, let's keep going here. And uh, let's say, aha, DLLs for popular open source database packages. Uh, Manifold and, and uh, Viewer have just an incredible number of data sources built in that you can connect to all sorts of stuff. For example, you can connect to GPackage and SQLite databases built in. Uh, but some databases, for example, Postgres, uh, Postgres SQL and uh, MySQL, require client software to be installed on your computer. And these are the open source uh, uh, files that you need to uh, work with those database packages. It is extremely easy to do. I'll show you how to do it in, the, in this video. And, but you do need to download the, the open source client packages, uh, client software for those packages. And if you're going to run 64 bits, click on this one here for 64 bits. If you're running 32 bits, click on this one here. With things like MySQL and Postgres SQL, you really should be running 64 bits. So let's pretend we clicked on this guy to uh, download that one. All right, last but not least, what you might want to do is you might, might want to download some example files. Uh, because uh, uh, even though you can uh, start running Viewer, you don't need anything uh, but viewer to uh, say open up your shape files and take a look at them or other GIS files or database files. Um, it's kind of convenient sometimes to have a pre-built project uh, which was created in release 9 that has a whole lot of cool stuff already built into it and that gives you something to work with while you're learning the user interface and things like that and there's a lot of here example files here for example the Archaeology of France, um, the uh, books database uh, from Chris Fahili's fine uh, SQL books, uh, cathedrals, chateau, uh, maps, uh, Civil War battles, all sorts of stuff. There's collections of uh, ArcGIS REST servers, which provide image servers, uh, c collections of JSN uh, servers if you're uh, working with uh, OpenStreetMap, uh, JOSM uh, servers. And uh, let's download this one here. We're going to download this pre-built project for uh, Manifold World Volcanoes. Downloads virtually instantly since it's uh, less than 2 megabytes. And uh, that should do the trick. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, Let's t open up Windows Explorer and we'll go to the uh, file folder where we downloaded all this stuff. I downloaded that earlier. And what you see here is this .exe is the Windows installer version for uh, Viewer. And you can see that's release 172. So that's a little bit behind the uh, portable installation, which is here for the zip file, which is 172.3. Uh, these are the open source uh, database files that we uh, downloaded. And up here is the example project of uh, World Volcanoes. So let's start by installing... Uh, uh, viewer as if uh, you know we, we like to use Windows uh, Windows uh, installer and all that and let, let's do that we'll double click the exe file you may be familiar with uh, using Windows installer packages as f ending in a three letter file extension dot msi that exe is also used it's a bit more versatile which is why Manifold uses it double click on that, e that file right there and agree to the license terms and conditions click install and of course this is do, uh, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher yeah sure if you have any doubt about whether this is a valid uh, file, you can always take a look at the SHA uh, uh, key for it to make sure that it's correct, and, and it is. And there, we've just installed Manifold Viewer. Now, Manifold Viewer is a part of our, uh, um, what do you call it, the Windows Start button. We can launch it by going down to the Start button, clicking uh, Manifold Viewer 32-bit, and uh, there we go. We've just launched it. It's uh, launched uh, full size. Let's uh, resize it a bit so it fits into this uh, YouTube uh, video framework. And there we just launched Viewer. So that's and what we've done is what you can see the help about what version it is. It's 172. So that's uh, about three months back, which is a long way back for something that evolves as rapidly as Viewer. So let's say we want to do something uh, quicker to use the so-called portable installation. To do that, here's the zip file that we downloaded. What we do is you right-click on that and, and extract everything. I I use 7-zip to unzip it because uh, 7-zip is a real fast utility for unzipping files. And what that does is that creates a, a folder right here. Manifold Viewer 172.3, and inside that folder, there are two subfolders. There's this folder called bin, which has a file called Manifold EXE. That's for 32-bit operation. And up here, there's a folder called bin64, which, you guessed it, is for 64-bit appli uh, app app application. So you launch Manifold.exe from here, just double-click on it, and it launches Manifold Viewer. And it's that easy. You don't need any Windows installer or any of that stuff. Uh, and uh, when we're done with that, we just click Exit. Click, the, click that X button. And what's neat about a portable installation is that uh, when you want to uninstall it, just uh, delete this uh, folder. And uh, if you like, what you can do is you can take this folder and you can copy it onto a zip drive, a USB drive, and carry it around with you. And anytime you want to run Manifold, just go here to the, the uh, bin64 
folder and double click on Manifold EXE and it launches. And uh, if you like, what you can do is you can right click on this Manifold.exe and choose Pin to Start. And what that'll do is that'll pin it to your Windows uh, Start button so you can just launch it from there instead of double clicking on, on Manifold.exe. I just double click on Manifold.exe because, you know, I like the way that works. Okay, I promised you I'd showed you how to uh, install the uh, database files. So let's do that. They're very easy to do. Those uh, open source uh, DLLs are just a uh, zip file. So once again, we right click on that, choose 7-zip, extract here. And that creates a folder called opt. If we look inside that folder called opt, we see we have subfolders from MySQL and Postgres and a specialized one for SQL uh, Lite, which is used with uh, our guest DE. We won't get into that because almost certainly you're not going to be using it. Anyway, right click on OPT, click uh, copy, and then go here into the Manifold Viewer a folder that we created earlier. Click go into the bin 64 and paste it right there. And we're done. We've just installed the uh, the uh, client software for MySQL and uh, Postgres SQL, also PostGIS, uh, that will, that works with Manifold Viewer and, and Manifold uh, uh, System. By the way, Manifold System looks just like this, except that instead of saying Manifold Viewer, it says uh, Manifold. So let's double click on Manifold EXE, and here we go. We now have Manifold Viewer launched and running. Let's resize it to uh, fit the YouTube uh, window. And uh, it's running with uh, full database capability. Uh, and uh, we can do all kinds of kind of cool things with it. We can choose file import. Let's import a shape file. And uh, if I look back, so these are some of the uh, different uh, files that I imported. For example, here's UNESCO World Her Heritage Sites. Let's uh, double click on that shape file and that opens up as a uh, drawing. If we want to see that drawing with some context, we can create a map from it. Right click on the drawing, choose create, new map, and let's use a base layer that's a Bing Street Map. I have a variety of other choices, but let's use Bing Street Map. Now let's use a Bing Map Satellite and create map. And now when I pop open that map, uh, there it is. You can see that's uh, displayed on a uh, background, uh, a world, world map background. Uh, if we like, we can do uh, cool things like uh, let's connect to a database. And uh, what I'll do is I'll choose here File, Create, New Data Source, uh, choose More. And uh, let's choose uh, MySQL. I'm going to give this thing a name. I like to name my data data sources so I know you know what they are. Uh, GISDB. GISDB is going to be the name of the database that I use within that database. Uh, Manifold remembers what you used the last time around, so it will offer to you. And, and since I've been working with MySQL, I picked that and not Oracle something else. But here we go. If, if it's not there, you just pick it from the list. For the source, it's a local server. I actually have a, a MySQL uh, database server running on this computer uh, with a login. The login is going to be Fred, and the password is my ultra high security 12345XY password that nobody could possibly ever guess. The database name is JSDB. That's the database on the server that I want to connect to. I'll press the test button. There, it, 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 will, it works so that all of my credentials, I, I didn't do any typos. I'll click OK. Click Create Data Source, and that creates a data source called MySQL JSDB. When I open it up, you can see all the different things that I've put inside my uh, MySQL server. And uh, and there's folders in there and other, all sorts of stuff. And There's things like drawings, for example, the JSDB Mexico drawing, which I can drag and drop into the map that I created, add that as a layer. And now when we zoom out, you can see that there's now a, uh, where Mexico is, there's this drawing in Mexico, which is coming in from the server. So all that is really cool. To navigate here, by the way, I'm left clicking, left clicking, dragging with the left mouse site, with the excuse me, with the left mouse button to click and drag. And to zoom in, I can either use the mouse, the mouse wheel to scroll in and out, or I can right click and drag. And you can see I'm drawing a box there. That's a zoom box. It'll zoom to whatever that box is. So I can right click and drag to say to that location right there. And the combination of right click and drag. And these uh, in mouse scrolling and uh, panning using the uh, left mouse uh, is pretty cool. And up here, you also have a, a back button, just like a browser. You can go back to a previous view or go forward to a previous view. So there you go. There's that uh, quick introduction to installing things. Like I say, Manifold Release 9 works exactly the same way because it is, after all, Viewer, after all, is Release 9. We're using the free Manifold Viewer here. Uh, go ahead and download Viewer so you can uh, be ready to go for our, our next videos. Viewer is absolutely free to download. There's no strings attached. You don't have to register. You don't have to give it your email address or anything like that. 
There's absolutely no advertising in Viewer. There's no upsell. There's no attempt to try to get you to buy something or anything like that. Uh, there's no request for donations. Uh, it's just a spectacular, high-quality software for free in the old manner. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.